Hello everyone, welcome back to Hotline Topics. What do we know about Mike Bamiloye? His full name is Michael Abayomi Bamiloye. He was born on 13th of April 1960. He's a Nigerian film actor, dramatist, producer and a director. He's an evangelist and the founder and president of Mount Zion Drama Ministry and Mount Zion Television. He was born in Elisha, a town in Oshun State. He lost his mother at the age of four. His older sister, Pastor Mrs. Felicia Adepeju Adeshinyo, looked after him till he was old enough to look after himself. He's from a polygamous family. Both his father and his mother are from Ijebu. He's also from Ijebu Jesha. His mother was the first wife and she was also a Christian. For his education, he schooled in many schools. He had a primary one and primary two in Elisha Oshun State. He was a primary three pupil at St. Murumba in Ilefe and four in Awe Oyo State. He had his primary five at Methodist Primary School in Oyo as well and then had his primary six in Lagos State. From one and from two also in Lagos State and from three in Ilefe. He was also trained at Divisional Teachers Training College and that was where he began his career. He founded Mount Zion on August 5, 1985. His debut drama was titled Hell in Conference. It was staged at the National Christian Teachers Conference in 1986 at Elisha in Ocean State. He has featured, produced and directed several Nigerian films over the years. Mike Bamiloye has become a household name in Christendom and through his brand and effort in keeping the gospel alive. What motivated his drive into making Christian films? He revealed that he has been passionate about God since he was 16. He had given his life to Jesus Christ and he had been serving him right from the school fellowship in his secondary school days. The zeal went with him to the College of Education in Elisha Ocean State. But before he gave his life to Christ, he used to pick pockets on the streets precisely at the age of 7. But the grace of God found him. At the age of 21, he joined the drama unit of the Christian Fellowship of the college. He served in that department because that was where his passion was. He was assisting with writing of scripts and also in coordination. Even when he was not the drama unit director, he was involved directing rehearsals. While working for God in the college, he had consistently believed that there was a purpose assigned for him by God to fulfill. He had known that there was a gift inside of him which God wanted him to use. But the vision wasn't so clear until after his youth service when he went back to assist the drama unit of the college. He revealed that it was at that time that God told him that it was not just about drama but a ministry. So for him it is a call and he believes that he was created to do this. In an interview, he revealed that the Mount Zion Christian production started in 1985, in 1986, in a bid to curb the ungodly activities which emanated from secular movie productions, the Lord led him to engage in stage drama. He said they were going from one church to another, even to the north, to preach the gospel through drama. He also revealed that they could spend one month in Kano, Cardinal, Zaria and all other places in the north. The ministry started as a drama ministry. It was in the year 1990 that they had their first movie, which was the first production of the Mount Zion Faith Ministry. Let's talk about his personal life. In August 5, 1985, his proposal was accepted by Mrs. Gloria Bamiloye, which marks the beginning of their ministry, Mount Zion. He's married to Gloria Bamiloye, a Nigerian film actress and evangelist with three children, Damilola, Joshua, and Darasimi, Mike Bamiloye. So how exactly did he meet his wife? He revealed that, as of the time I graduated from college, my wife had just gained admission to the institution. It was when I went back to assist the drama unit that I saw her. She was also working on the drama unit of the fellowship. Three years after, I proposed to her, but the proposal was after I had engaged in thorough prayer. We got married not long after the proposal was made. What captivated me at first was her passion to serve God. She's very zealous for the Lord. Besides, she's a prayer warrior and a very patient woman. To succeed in this type of ministry, it is necessary to have a prayerful wife who can help one. She's a studious Bible scholar. She's a woman who has a vision to serve God and work for him. I love that in her. She wanted a man who would encourage her to serve God. This was why she was able to speak to many women today. At the time when Agbaranla was released, there wasn't much audiovisual competition like we have today. Even at that time, no internet or other online media outlets where people could easily download a movie to watch. The Korea TV service in the Southwest was the only one available to broadcast the movie. Competition was very low at that time. In fact, no competition. That was why it went far and wide. Not only had Baranla made great impact, 
Movies like Akko Thierry was also impactful. Testimonies from people showed that they were of great effect. What movie exactly brought him to the limelight? It was the movie Agbaranla. Some of Mike Bamiloe's movies include The Haunting Shadows 1, 2, 3, Agbaranla, One Kelly's Night 1, 2, 5, The Forgotten Ones 1, 2, 4, The Ultimate Power 1, 2, 4, The Foundation, Broken Pictures, Wounded Heart, Captive of the Mighty, Ashishinla Akbotieri, The Gods Are Dead, Shackles, The Train, among others. Mike Bamiloe was asked how he came about the name Mount Zion Faith Ministry. He revealed that in 1985, we followed the Lord's direction as he pointed our attention to a Bible scripture from the book of Obadiah 117. The movie is meant to instill a sense of holiness in people and it is likewise for spiritual deliverance of the people, he said. On how he feels seeing his children taken after his legacies, he revealed that all his children were born into the work of God. In fact, his first son began acting at a younger age and he believes he is passionate at what he does. In his words, they all love God and are working for him. He grew to observe all that was being done and now he can handle the camera on his own. We do not enforce the work on them and I'm glad that they have been planted on the right path. Mike Bamiloe has been in the faith-based movie industry for decades. So what has been his staying power? Ministry is about touching lives. In his words, what can make me say that I have a fulfilling ministry is the fact that through our drama ministrations, we have been able to touch lives. It is not entertainment. No, we hear testimonies of homes restored, lives saved, and souls coming to Jesus Christ. They give us satisfaction. We come across people who testified of the great impact the movies have on their lives. So when we hear of such testimonies, we are encouraged to forge ahead. It is not about money, but the lives and destinies imparted in a positive way. We are encouraged that the labor is not in vain, he refused. This is Mike Bamiloe's lovely wife and children.
have come to the end of this episode. I'm Mike Bamiloye. We hope you enjoyed this episode. And let's know two new things. Subscribe and hit the bell icon for our daily contents.